everybody, welcome to Cam's health and fitness series. So today we're working out that upper body. You're gonna love it. I went into my laundry room and my pantry and just really quickly grabbed things that I think would be effective. My favorite thing to use for at home weight training is to adjust these bags the way that I like them. So I'm gonna put some cans in here. I got one can in there already. That's three, and I only had um, a certain number of cans, so I'm gonna use this honey jar, and then I'm gonna use two cartons of stock, and for me, that feels like a pretty good weight to use. Try and get them about as even as you can for both bags, and now we're gonna start our exercises. All right, we're hitting the biceps first with our bicep curl. This is just gonna be working this right here. That's your bicep, it's called bicep, because there's actually two muscles running up here. You want those elbows hanging uh, pretty much right to your sides, and you want the motion to be nice and smooth. Very controlled. If you have to swing, then you have too much weight and lower, take some of the groceries out of your grocery bag. All right, elbows, side of the body, arms nice and relaxed along the side, and you're only bringing that lower part of your arm up just like this. And the idea is you want a nice, slow, controlled movement, nothing fast. You don't want the bags to be swinging. And my favorite tip about bicep curls happens right here at the top. You give it an extra squeeze right at the top. And by the way, that's gonna make your curls so much more effective. Now we're gonna to move to our tricep extensions. It's working your tricep muscles here called triceps because there's three muscles back here. You're gonna stagger your stance a little bit. You're gonna bend your upper body on an angle and you're gonna support yourself. You don't want it, you wanna support yourself on your knee with your free hand, okay? Then your other arm comes up, the top part of your arm is parallel to the floor, how's that look? And then all you do from here is you just straighten that arm and hold it out there. Do that same squeeze that we talked about. Here's what you don't wanna do when doing like tricep kickbacks or tricep extensions, and that is one thing is, Leaning too far over this way while you're doing it, a lot of stress on your lower back, even if you are giving yourself a rope. You just need a slight angle here, that's all you need. The other thing that I uh, see people do is they don't get this top part of the arm high enough up, so it might be down here, and they're just doing kind of kickbacks like this, extensions like this, and if that's all you can do, that's fine. It's not gonna hurt you, you're just not gonna get as much out of it, but as high as you can get that upper part, the better. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. If you're a little bit tired, your arms are burning just a bit, take a break. Take a break. Check out the rest of the Home and Family family. We're showing you all sorts of different things that you can be doing, different DIYs, different crafts, different cooking segments, and of course, there's gonna be more workouts as well. In fact, the next workout that I'll be sharing with everybody is a good core strength workout, some really simple moves that can make a difference, a big difference uh, in the strength of your core that you can do anywhere, including at home where we all should be right now. So stay safe, be healthy, and sending you all love, everybody.